Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler here, Michigan Silver Hunter, back to another uh, video. Um, in this video, we're gonna do a video game haul from the thrift store. It's this is two trips to the thrift store, and I got all these video games. So first off, I start with the Nintendo stuff. Um, I got this Game Boy Advance 007 in the box, complete. I'm gonna put this with a console when I get one, or I have one right now. I'm just waiting for the cords to arrive, but it, it did not come in the charger. But I paid two ninety nine for that. Next, I got this sealed Nintendo Game Boy Advance game. Splinter's Lail Pandora tomorrow. It's new and sealed. I paid two ninety nine for this. And I'm going to put that with the console. And we got some Wii stuff. We got a red steel for the Wii. Three ninety nine. This one is just comes with the disc. Prince of Persia Rival Ford for the Wii. Right there. This one is complete, I think. Yeah, this one's complete. We got Far Cry Vengeance for $3.99. That one just comes with the disc. And the best of it probably is uh, Wii Sports for $1.99. That's a $15 game right there. And I paid $1.99. And then the best of it is Mario Kart Wii. That's like a $20, $30 game, and I played $3.99. And this one is complete. Right there. And then I bought a wheel to go with it, so it increased its value. That was a dollar ninety nine. So I'm gonna pay six bucks total and I should get like anywhere from 30 35 I think. So then I got some Nintendo DS stuff. The coolest thing was I opened this case. I got I saw it and I'm like, oh cool, that's a good deal. But when I opened it, Mario Kart 7 for 3DS was inside. So that's an even better deal. So this game goes for eighteen to twenty dollars. I paid two ninety nine. I also got a Pokemon Soul Silver for the DS for two ninety nine. I'm not sure, but I think this game goes for thirty to thirty five. Maybe thirty without the case and manual, but there it is. I got this. I don't know what this is, but I picked it up for two ninety nine. It's an action replay for the DSi. I have no clue what it's worth, but I thought that was pretty cool. I got uh, two Nintendo DS games uh, right here. Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. Neither of these are worth much, but I'm going to put them in a lot with some other games I have. And Harry Potter, The Order of the Phoenix. Pay two Nintendo each on those. Complete. And the last Nintendo thing we got was this uh, Finding Nemo for the GameCube. And I'll put this one the console. And that was two ninety nine. It's complete. We got uh, some PlayStation stuff. We got Resident Evil Director's Cut Greatest Hits version. Uh, this game goes for fifteen twenty dollars, and I paid a dollar ninety nine. Complete. We got some PlayStation Two stuff. Beyond. What does that say? I think it says Beyond Good and Evil, but paid two ninety nine for that interesting title. Uh, put it for the console. Complete. We got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I just sold some Grand Theft Auto games for like 18, 20 bucks. So if I get another one, I'll put it together with it. This is the disc in case. We got X Men Wolverine. Beta 2.9 for this, and I'll put it with the console. Just the case in this. And then we got Batman Rise of Sin Zoo. Right there. I paid 2.9 for this, and it's uh, it's actually a rental version. I don't know if that increases or decreases the value. But then I got the last two things. I got two Game Genies for the Sega Game Gear. One of them has the booklet, as you can see in there. And these go for like $8.99 each, but I'm going to sell them together for like $25 or $30. Or maybe $20. And I paid $2.99 each, so I got six into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.